I've waited like 10 minutes for this car alarm to stop going off, but I don't know. You might be able to hear in the back. You might not be. I don't really know. Yesterday was my birthday. I had an amazing time. Like this is one of the best birthdays that I've had in years, if I'm honest with you. It's been very special. And this weekend I get to go see the roomies. We're gonna celebrate together. So it's been a very, very special birthday. Um, I haven't enjoyed my birthday this much. I don't know the last time that I've really enjoyed my birthday this much and just felt excited about celebrating my birthday. For many, many years I have struggled with wanting to celebrate my birthday and celebrate myself. This year really changed that. And I think that, you know, at my big age now, I'm definitely learning to love myself more and I'm really getting to know myself more. I've had a lot of conversations this week about how I feel like I'm in such a growth stage of my life where I'm really getting to know myself and really learning to love myself in this season of my life. So anyway, that's a little, maybe too intense. I'm so sorry for you who don't care about personal things, but that's just how I'm feeling. This has been a really beautiful birthday and I'm so thankful for the people in my life and so thankful for all of you who wished me a happy birthday and just were so, so sweet. That being said, I just dropped my sister off at the airport and I'm sad, but it's also the day after my birthday. So I'm at Barnes and Noble and I figured why not take you book shopping. But I have two books in mind that I really want to buy and I'm gonna try to treat myself if they're there. hot out there and I had to go to the post office okay I had to go to the post office because I have a VO box and something got delivered that was a whole mess every time I go to the post office I get so much anxiety about 
interacting with the postmasters because I'm like, I don't want to upset them. I don't want to, I don't want to do anything to upset them. And I always do something wrong at the post office. Anyway, I did that today, but you know what? I have my bag of books. I spent a little more money than I intended, but you know what? Happy birthday to me. But I guess, you know what? I'll unbox the package that I got from the post office. I was reached out to about a book, which I'm gonna be honest, hasn't really happened to me before from a publisher. And I'm very excited. It's a horror novel from Dutton Books. And the premise sounds really cool. It's like a deal with the devil. Is that called a Faust Faustian? Faustian deal? Yeah, let's unbox it. So it is a haunting in Hylia, Hylia Gardens. I know I'm saying that wrong, but it is this novel. The cover is so cool. I love this cover. So this is coming out in October of 2023, which is awesome because there's a lot of good horror, I feel, coming out in October. But like I said, this has like a devil's bargain in it. And so it says, is a devil's bargain worth the promise of one man's freedom? Anyway, this comes out in October. So check it out if you are interested. Okay, as for what I got at the bookstore, these are books that I've been eyeing since they came out. One of these books, I kept telling myself, if I see it out in the wild, I have to buy it. And I have not seen it. I've been looking for it since Aaron came to visit me. Haven't been able to find it. But guess what? I walked into that bookstore, which they rearranged, and it really threw me off. But they had it. They had it. I was like, what? One copy, just kind of hidden, kind of shoved in there. And it's the book that wouldn't burn by Mark Lawrence. I have not read anything by Mark Lawrence, but I'm very interested in his Red Sister series. I don't think it's called Red Sister series, but Red Sister is the first book in that series. This one, I'm not gonna lie to you, like was giving me Starless Sea vibes in the sense that like it's about books. I think it's gonna be about a book within a book type of thing. I might be wrong. I'm trying to go in with little to no expectations, although my expectations are a five star. So that's pretty high of expectations if we're being honest. So it's probably nothing like the Starless Sea, but I unfortunately am not a Starless Sea stan. So I'm really hoping that this is like my Starless Sea. I'm very excited about it. I think this is gonna be a trilogy. I'm just, I can't believe I found it out in the wild and it's so pretty. It's just such a pretty cover. So then another book that I, it's not that I've been looking for it, I just am predicting that this will be a five stars, if not simply very highly rated. And that is The Will of the Many. This book I've been seeing all over the place, nothing but good reviews and people talking about how it's one of the best fantasies that they've read in a really long time of the new fantasies that have come out in the last couple of years. So I'm very excited, I think, the name of the other trilogy is the Lycanus trilogy. I have the first book in that series. And the reason I was initially interested in that one is because it's been compared to epic fantasies like The Wheel of Time. I've heard very mixed things about it. I've heard that you definitely have to be in the right headspace to read that book because it's very complex and complicated and there's a lot of world building and character dynamics that are just intense and intense to wrap your mind around. So this is their, it's, I guess it's not their sophomore novel, but this is the start of a new series. This is like kind of dark academia-esque, but I think it's more so a revenge story, if I'm right. And I just predict that I'm gonna highly rate this one. I have a really good feeling about it, okay? If you see a theme here, I may be doing a, this vlog doesn't end until I get a five stars and I'm just gearing up for that. Lastly, I ended up getting Warrior Girl Unearthed by Angeline Bully and I loved The Firekeeper's Daughter. So I was highly anticipating this. I don't really know why I didn't pick it up right away, um, but I grabbed it today and I'm very excited. This is a Barnes & Noble exclusive edition. I don't know what's exclusive about it. There's probably just extra chapters or something, but Fall Leaves. This is just giving fall vibes. I love the colors. This is like one of my favorite color palettes, like the yellowy orange cream colors. And there's some green in there, which I also love. I honestly gonna be extremely honest with you. I don't care what this is about. I just love Angeline Bully enough to just trust that I'm gonna love this. Oh, this one is also like a murder investigation. I mean, the last one was more of like a, there were drugs on the reservation and so they were trying to figure that out. But this one is like a murder investigation and it is about missing indigenous women. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing how I like this one. So that is my little stack 
of birthday goodies, but also this little bonus here. Yeah, thanks for going book shopping with me. And you know, if you wanna leave an emoji down below, you can leave a book stack and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.